one. Obviously, I'm, I'm on this by hand. Hey guys, it's been a while there. Hopefully you're all keeping safe and secure. Coronavirus is taking over and everyone's in um, social distancing and self-isolation. Rather than being bored, sitting indoors and stuff. There's a chicken foot, <laughs> random. Um, I've just been in the garden and I thought I'd test out one of my new toys I got a little while ago. It's the Warhawk by Remington. Uh, tutu under lever spring air rifle. So this is it, Obviously it comes in a cool box. You can see you get two versions. You got the uh, 177 and you get the 22. It's uh, up to 12 foot per pound power. So it's borderline on the legal limit. Um, it's got a manual safety, which is situated just here at the front. You see this photograph would a bit better actually than the manual safety. This lever rear trigger, is a way to stop the spring. I'll show you after it works to stop you um, trapping your fingers within the under lever and stuff. So we've got built-in modif modifier, um, sound moderator, sorry, here. So it lowers down the um, volume output. Um, comes with the scope and also with these filters. So it's got the yellow filter. So the yellow filter blocks out certain lights. Um, up. So I opened up the way earlier. Inside it, you get your couple of manuals, instructions. Um, here, you get your little box here. And it has like uh, your add-in key and your scope, and then the brackets here. So you have to add those yourselves. But the rifle comes as a whole. You just get a set part for your scope and the brackets so then you attach your brackets to your scope uh, attach them to here and then that's it it's good to go so you get the rifle the filter the scope the bracket obviously it's got a rubber guard here for your shoulder the moderator it's got um, manual safety and I'm not sure what this is called but it's a it's another lever to stop you um, Pulling this down by accident, it's shutting your fingers in it. You have to manually pull the, the trigger. Um, well, not pull, but yeah, you need to pull in the lever. And then that allows you to close the under lever. We'll try and show you that now, how it works. So, this is the Roman and Warhawk. So, as we were saying, so you've got your three triggers. As you probably see here, so you've got LC here manual safety you flick forward to lock the safety and then you pull back and then you can fire here is another catch we'll show you how this works so you pull down the under lever and this opens up the chamber you can see that there's a chamber here and this is where you place your slug just here single shot but then if you've got to close it it locks you can't close it so you need to pull this lever back bring it up and then that is it engaged what's good about it as well is as you pull the lever down and you use this it automatically pushes the safety on so it won't go you don't have to manually pull it back off so it's got a couple of um, sort of safety features that make it pretty damn good That's with the filter one. Obviously, I'm on this by hand, so it's not the best way of judging it. But it cuts out certain lights, which means when the sun's setting, probably works in sunrise as well. It's just to cut out the um, certain colours and the natural lighting gives you a clearer, clearer, clearer view. Um, and also, this is the standard view the greatest of views but yeah so the scope comes with nine adjustments 
you see it's three to nine times 40. Just twist your scope and you get different. Probably see that better now on the camera actually. A little zoom out, yeah, on the bush. Yeah. So again, it's got two stage trigger. Maybe that's what it's called actually. I've got to think of the name. Um, full length checkered, real hardwood thumb stock. It is quite heavy. I'm not sure what the total weight is. I don't think it's written down. Um, you got your fitted rubber recoil pad. Um, obviously your, your scope, your tapered rifle barrel and the sound moderator on the front. And they give you some sort of um, air rifle shot techniques, which if you want to, you can read these manually. Pause the video and read them. But it's just um, shooting advice. It does say that you need to do 500 to 1,000 shots to completely, completely break it in. But that's pretty much everything you get in the box. Um, we get a cloth as well for cleaning up. But there's your instructions, you, and everything else I've mentioned. Where can you get this from? Um, I can't remember where I got it from there. <laughs> it's in Crawley, um, air rifle shop. Top of my head, it's gone, but I will stick a link down to where I got it from when it comes to me. So the plan is, obviously I was just gonna have a little tinker in the garden. It should be more accurate now. We've set up a rough guide, so we'll see how accurate it is. I'm gonna take 10 shots with some pellets and see just roughly what it comes out like. Pellets we are using um, today are the, it's the practice ones, there you go. Taking 10 shots, then using Anglo arms target. We lost that tree in the wind, so got on the floor for now. We'll be shooting at this target. So, I just want to quickly show you how it actually works before we take the 10 shots. You've got your underlever, pull it down, and obviously the barrel opens up. You take one slug, place it in, pull your second trigger back, close the lever, and that's engaged. The safety will manually push forward, so now you bring the safety back and you're ready to shoot. Ten shots. These were the results. Yeah, I know my first shot was this one here. Um, it's all pointing to the left slightly, even when I was firing. You can see as we as we got our eye in a bit more, all the shots sort of came in. So out of ten shots, seven of them. Well, actually, that's a lie. You say six in the black. Now four are out. Is that down to the gun accuracy? on me uh, these ones were down to me 100 percent um once actually got me eyeing a bit better and then the gun showed what you can do um get the gun set up properly properly by that i mean set up so it's locked in place on the target with the adjustments a bit more time spent on it i reckon we can get all 10 shots within this area it is heavy the gun um, but it's well evenly weighted um, again, you just adjust what you're using, yeah? your body gets used to it. Um, there you can see, accuracy, I would say very good. Um, easy to use, you know, for a beginner. Pick it up, you're gone, straight away. I think that's what I like about it as well. There's no gas chambers needed. The cost after buying it is purely just on the pellets. Um, no, the, the targets you get, you can get them for 12 to 15 quid. Um, by that I mean the metal ones. Um, cardboard things, you can buy on Amazon, dirt cheap. It's best to go to the actual place, test it out, feel the weight of it. But honestly, you know, I think it's an amazing rifle. They do say, test out the variation of pellets, for accuracy, power and that, all that sort of stuff. It's good to go, so straight out of the box. Um, beginner friendly, intermediate friendly. Get used to the weight and you'll be fine. Yeah, just make sure you come back, check out the next video. Next video, we'll be looking at um, slingshots.
yeah thanks for watching I hope you like this Bremerton Warhawk if you've got any other guns you recommend then please send them in the comments or if you've used a Warhawk yourself tell us what you think of it so stay wild